in here. So this room is the future studio bean can in theory, assuming it gets emptied out. From, uh, Stop! No, there's glass, you're gonna kill people. Oh. This is not, this is a tramp, a death trap. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Cloud Town Tuesday, the day where I share a page from my graphic novel, Cloud Town, and um, tell you about the process of making it. It's like a um, editor's commentary on a DVD. Here it is. Let's go. Let's do it. We can do it. Oh, no. All oh, right. This is not how you carry an iced coffee in a room full of books. Okay. So this is the dedication page. The dedication I don't, page? This, I don't know what this is. This is some other page. Okay, yeah. Dedication page. So I drew this later. It had a little bit of a narrative. I have that small image there from the last page. Uh... I think we looked at that. And you use that to be a composition for this page? Yeah, because I wanted these characters to run into this duck. Mm. Or not duck, I think it's a ancient merle. But I wanted that conflict to happen. So um, I think also in the background of this page, there is a Penn, Penn's family's house will appear in the background. And the dedicated to anyone who has ever hurt or been hurt by a friend. That's kind of um, a theme in the books that I wrote, like my first book, a film about Billy, I had dedicated to anyone uh, who has ever died or loved someone that has died or will die or something like that. Literally why'd everyone. You, why'd you look at me when you said will die? <laughs> Won't you? <laughs> I'm, uh, Kurt's on I don't his, know. his last yeah. leg too. <laughs> I feel like it, man. After his yeah. Death of Power series. Yeah. On oh, huge success. Mm. Oh, it's yeah. all over. It's all downhill from here. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So, so also, yeah. I do chapter titles <laughs> by trying to incorporate the chapter in the scene. So, later, chapter seven, I think, is written on the back of their house. So, I still wrote chapter there, but I kind of hit it. This is, like, oh, a new chapter page? No, but there will be a new chapter page later that is that house. It... It's going to say it's chapter. It's going to say chapter. Oh, like, oh, right on the... Yeah, so. on the siding. Like, this never gets put into detail, but, um, like, they're pretty poor, and his her dad fixes phone freelance, and he just, like, nailed garbage together to make their patio his office, you know? Nice. Like their back porch. They have a chicken coop and stuff. This is, like, influenced by one of the houses I used to run the writer's co-op in. Cyberpunk Apocalypse Writer's Project looks pretty similar to that house. Oh, cool. And then these little creatures, yeah, they used to... I think I talked to you guys before, but they had a kind of Where's Waldo secondary barbarian story happening in the background of the first version of the script. Oh, that's funny. But it got edited out because in script format, it was really disorienting and confusing. Like, why Why do you keep changing your attention to this story for no reason? And then they're like, oh, actually, I like that. You should put it back in. But all of, like, the beats that made it functional, like, were gone. Were already edited. So out. it was, yeah, it was very hard to retroactively reinsert it. But that's something I'd like to do still in a future story, have, like, a secondary Where's Waldo-style story that you could find if you were a big nerd. Do you have it as, so, like, tiny little characters in the background of a panel, or their own So that'd be kind of like a Sergio Argonas type Mad Magazine type thing? Like, yeah, but, just but be hidden. running through the entire story. Yeah, you yeah, wouldn't know unless narrative. you decided to look for it. Yeah, okay, like, that's rad. So the, the plot for this was a crow takes one of these guys away, and then is like, brother goes hunting the crow in, like, armor made of trash, <laughs> and they find just his shell in the... In the <laughs> Nest. It's a. It's an epic. But then, a, but yeah, but then, but a, then you see like the out of the shell comes like a, a just homer, the head. He can epic. regrow like little arms. So now he's just a short version of the snail. And no, then, he's come back and, and he trains the crow and starts flying the crow. And then he's like the cool guy that teaches them all to catch birds and fly the birds. He is and at the end of the climax, when they're fighting the giant monster, they're also kind of swarming fighting the monster. And and then he like punches like the foot of the monster with his spear like in front of all of his compatriots right as the main character punches it in the face with a giant robot so that all of all of the scrapper snail people think Damn, that he did it. you've got that in like a Where's Waldo <laughs> format. Oh, yeah. that would be <laughs> awesome if it you know is in the background like in the gutters. Yeah. Or just like book. you just be and tiny. And then it slowly forms into like 
<laughs> into the book, you know? Like, maybe there's, like, you know... It gets more and more prominent throughout yeah. time until it's, like, the main story instead. I, I for, for I, like, one or two pages. I, not, uh, not for the whole thing. I do love the shells being, like, beanies. <laughs> that is so cool. This well, one looks like yeah. an army hat. That was the whole. That was the whole one of this video. So I feel like we can do a couple of these real quick. Oh really? Uh, yeah, I don't know. So exact. So like the last video we it's, watched took forever. This one took me five five hours. Oh, well, that's good. But it's a five minute clip. But it's a five minute clip. But that means I'm I'm getting way faster. The texturing uh, looks really cool. I oh, like the motion the, the lines a lot. Grit, right? Yeah. yeah, I bought True Grit. And I, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, a, a friend of mine uh, respectfully was like, you know, there are always these new technologies in comics that um, that make you think uh, it's really cool at the moment, but you'll super date yourself. You know, you don't have to, <laughs> but I, I, I tone it down. This is it. Hey, guys, this video is brought to you by my free newsletter comic. So if you've read Cloud Town already and you're enjoying it, Sign up to my newsletter. You get four pages of new comics every two weeks in the Cloud Town universe. And, oh, yeah, I've done, like, a bunch of episodes already, but I've never told anyone to like and subscribe. I've, I'm a cartoonist, not a YouTuber. So if you like it, like it, and subscribe to it, and follow it, and all the stuff people do. Okay. So I guess I'll, I'll show you this.